Hey everyone, it's Evan from PBReview.org and today I'm reviewing the V-Force Grill. Now this paintball mask is a good beginner to intermediate mask. You can get them for as cheap as like $65 and now they come as expensive as like $160, $70 on ANSGear.com. I've just seen that they dropped a bunch of new color combinations, patterns or whatever. And they look pretty cool but they can be expensive but you don't need to pay that much to get this mask. I think I only paid 65 for this one. Now you won't be able to get all the color combinations at that price, but you may be able to find some still on sale. Now, I'm gonna split this review into pros and cons. To start with, pro number one, cool looks. It's, it's just a cool looking mask. When the first mask I got was the V-Force Profiler, which I thought was really cool, big bubble lens, and I loved it. And then right after I got that, they came out with this mask, and I remember thinking like, wow, that is cool, and everyone was rocking it. It was it was 100 maybe a little over 100 at the time, $100, and a little out of my price range, but I always wanted one, so I eventually got one. Two, uh, the small lens. I love having a small lens because, for one, I just hate being shot on the lens. Not only is it annoying to clean, but then you can't see, and it's kind of humiliating, you know, it's a little degrading, especially if it's like one of your friends shoots you on the lens, it's just like, oh, if you already get shot in the mask, you know, that's one thing, but a lens shot, it's embarrassing, you know, nobody wants to be shot on the lens, so smaller lens, less glare too. Great for you know when you're hiding in the bush or whatever. You don't want a, a big lens that all that glare, the sun shining down off of it. It's another advantage of the small lens. Uh, third pro of this mask, the coverage. This mask has lots of coverage. Has that pointy chin, and then it has this little side piece comes down far. Ears don't poke out. You know, no problem with coverage at all. Uh, it's also very comfortable, you know. I will say it's not the best foam in the world, but I'd say it's like C grade, you know, maybe B grade. Like the ProFlex to me has amazing foam. Uh, the E-Flex is, is great foam, but not quite as good as a ProFlex. And this mask is a little below that. But it's still still good foam, just, just not as good. What I do like about it though, um, I don't know if I'll be able to get it in the video, let me see. There's a split in that foam there, so if you wear glasses, this mask is perfect. You know, you don't have the your glasses being forced into the side of your head from the foam, you know, it goes right through the slot, so you're good to go. Okay, let's see, what else? E it, the lens is easy to remove. You know, in the side, let me show you again, there's a, uh, this might be a little harder to see, but there's a buckle there, so <clears throat> what you do is you take the buckles out, remove them on each side, and then you pull out the black rubber piece on each side, on the ear, and then you can simply just pop it forward, there you go, boom, lens removed. Now, now, if you want to remove the foam, they have this little piece here. You take a flathead screwdriver, twist it, and you have to remove the foam and the slots that go with it. It's a little more expensive than just replacing the foam, but not too bad. When you want to pop it back in, do that. Put the ear on each side. The little black rubber piece, and then just Put the little buckles back through the slots. That one's a little harder to do for some reason. There you go. All set. Easy to do. When you first get the mask, it might be a little harder because it's stiff. But after you do it a few times, it loosens right up and uh, it's no longer a problem. Another thing I like about this mask, it's a one piece. It's just, it's easy to clean. You know, you take the lens out, you remove the foam if you want to. Soaking in water, you know, it's not multiple pieces. Not that a two-piece mask or whatever is really that much more complicated, but let's keep it simple. One piece, good to go. Very beginner friendly. It does come with a chin strap, but I took mine off. I'm not a speedball player, but it does have that. 
Uh, let's see. I mean, cool looks. It's comfortable. And, you know, it has everything you really need in a mask. Good vision. Now, the only thing... The only reason I don't wear this mask as much as like my Pro Flex or my E Flex is there's not a lot of ventilation. Now that has pros and cons. One, the con, of course, you, you're not going to be able to breathe as well in the paintball field. So when you're running around and yeah, uh, you're really, if, especially if you don't have good endurance, you're going to get tired. And the the mask not having lots of ventilation is going to make it harder to breathe. The pro to not having as much ventilation. If you get shot in in the mouth, like the little mouth guard area on like the Pro Flex or the E Flex, it's like lava coming through. The paint's just coming right through with little pieces of shell, and it's hitting you in the lip. Your lips all swollen, you know. It doesn't feel good. I hate getting shot in the face. I'd rather get shot in the lens on the Pro Flex than in the mouth. With this, it's it's less likely to happen. It still can a little bit, but not as likely. Uh, a con though is. It's going to have more reverb. When you're yelling, you can hear it echoing in the mask. Not only that, but it, your voice isn't going to project as well. I don't know if this is going to show through on the video, but I'll try to show it. If Let's see if my voice has changed at all. I don't know if, I don't know if it comes through on the video, but this is definitely, I can hear it when I'm talking. I can hear it kind of echoing a little bit. And I know for a fact on the field, it doesn't project as well. Or this we have the Pro Flex. So let's see if what the difference is, if you can hear it. I know for sure that I can, definitely. Like, I don't hear any projection inside the mask. It's no, no reverb. I don't hear any echoing going on versus this mask. And I know for a fact when I'm yelling on the field, people can hear you better. If that shows in the video or not, I, I don't know, but you can definitely hear it in person. Um, let's see. Cons, cons. It can be a little expensive, but it also can be relatively cheap. You know, if you want the cool color combinations, you'll have to pay for them. But you know that that a lot of companies like ANSGear.com, I, I believe they make those color. They dye the masks themselves. I'm not really sure how that works, but you know, if you want a cool color combination, you will have to pay. Uh, there's lots of color combina combinations available. Tons of them. There's lots of lens color combinations. They have the HDR lenses, which is like HD. I don't know if it's polarized. I guess I should look into that, but it, it kind of has that polarized look, you know? It, it, it makes things look more crisp, I guess. I don't know, stands out better and gives it that cool color hue if you're into that thing. Um, yeah, that's, that's about all I can think about this mask that I have to say, if you like the mask. You know, basically buy it anywhere. Just be force grill. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you want to see more views, head over to pbreview.org and or check out my YouTube channel. This is one of my first reviews so far, but there will be many more. Thank you. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.